Hey everybody, let's walk through John Daly's swing from a down the line perspective today. And I'm gonna highlight the three things that I find the most unique about his swing, specifically with the driver. So let's jump into it. The first thing that I notice in his takeaway is a lot of people would say he has a very inside takeaway. And you can see at shaft parallel here, his club is in fact inside. Uh, a lot of folks will have the club head out here uh, with a more on plane takeaway. This is definitely an inside takeaway, but the way he's able to keep his swing on plane later on in the swing is that his hands are still on plane. You can see his left arm here creates a line that is directly down at his target. If his hands were also behind him, more around here, he would really struggle the rest of his swing and, and struggle avoiding from throwing it over the top in his transition. But the fact that his hands are still here with a line of his left arm down the target line really keeps his swing on plane even though his club head is inside. Now if we transition all the way to the top, one of the most incredible things, everyone notices his high hands, but one of the most incredible things is his transition and when he gets his weight into his front side. You can see right here, he is fully transitioned into his front foot and his front side. Now, when you're delivering power in the golf ball, into the golf ball with your driver, um, it really is an efficient energy transfer from the ground all the way up through your body, through the club head into the golf ball. Well, you can't start trans transferring energy from the ground from your front foot until your front foot is planted into the ground. The fact that he has planted his front foot into the ground and his club is still this far at the top of his swing with his shaft beyond parallel to the ground gives him a ton of time to transfer that energy up through his body and into the club head. If you paused a lot of PGA pros at this position when they transferred their energy into the front foot, this shaft would be parallel or a little past parallel already into their downswing. So this gives John Daly a ton of time to transfer power into the golf ball. And it's also amazing at his age still that he has the flexibility to execute this type of sequencing. Now, as we transition into the downswing and we pause it right about here, a lot of folks would say, this is a pretty steep shaft here. A lot of people say, well, you're coming down steep. You might need to shallow it. And you know, they, they try to look at the shaft dissecting his right bicep right around here for a good level of, of being shallow. Um, the reason he's able to pull this off is you can see this right wrist flex, which is keeping his club head inside the golf ball and on plane. If this right wrist was more flat, it would definitely be a steep shaft right here, but he's able to maintain that wrist flex through the downswing and if we get to shaft parallel here, you can see everything's in line with the target. His club face is perpendicular to the ground, meaning it's square. And it's really a prototypical position here for a lot of drivers of the golf ball. It's unique in how he got there, but at the end of the day, he got into this position uh, nonetheless. And if we go all the way to impact, same story. Beautiful position at impact. You can see some daylight between his right and left arm showing he's swinging inside the golf ball. He is in fact not throwing the club over the top, coming too steep at it, swinging outside to in. Um, it's just a, a great impact position. Definitely a unique swing, but a lot of similarities from most best drivers of the golf ball as well. It's just a little different on how he gets to those positions.